transcription module convolutional neural uh, layers are formed by filters feature maps and activation functions from previous lecture we have understand that what is convolution what is pooling and what is the fully connected layers and how we will connect them so for a given image it is natural that we use a filter and then try to extract some information or output however we can use the different size of filters for example 1 by 1 3 by 3 and 5 by 5 so which one we have to use for a given image this is really a big question mark because of this huge variation in the location of information choosing the right kernel size for the convolution operation become tough a larger kernel is preferred for information that is distributed more globally and smaller kernel is preferred for information that is distributed more locally so the idea of the inception is quite simple why we don't try all the possible or some possible combinations for example 5 by 5 3 by 3 and 1 by 1 and finally we will concatenate them all together we are using one by one convolution first then we connect them with five by five and three by three with average pooling <coughs> inception modules are used in the convolutional neural network to allow for more efficient computation and deeper network through a dimensionality reduction with staked one cross one convolutions the modules were designed to solve the problem of computational expenses as well as overfitting among other issues the solution is in short is to take the multiple kernel filter sizes within the CNN and then uh, rather than stacking them sequentially, ordering them to operate on the same level. So interesting thing is why we are using one by one convolution first. As stated before, deep neural networks are computationally expensive, so to make it cheaper, the others limits the number of input channels by adding an extra 1 cross 1 convolution before the 3 cross 3 and 5 cross 5 convolutions. Though adding an extra operation may seem counterintuitive. 1 cross 1 convolution are far more cheaper than 5 cross 5 convolution and reduce the number of input channels. It is important to note however that 1 cross 1 convolution is added after the max pooling or average layer. So, advantage of using one cross one convolution is to make the process even less computationally expensive and to reduce the number of parameters. The more parameters in the network, the more parameters need to be trained which result in larger training time. Inception V1 2014 This 22 layer architecture with 5 million parameters is called the Inception V1. This is done by means of inception module. The design of the architecture of an inception module is a product of research on approximating sparse structure. Each module presents two ideas. Having parallel towers of convolution with different filters followed by concatenation captures different features at 1 cross 1, 3 cross 3 and 5 cross 5 thereby clustering them. <coughs> the idea is motivated by a paper provable bounds for learning some deep representation, suggesting a layer by layer construction in which one should analyze the correlation statistic of the last layer and cluster them into groups of units with high correlation. One cross one convolution are used for dimensionality reduction to remove the computational bottlenecks. The inception network is formed by concatenating other inception modules. It includes, includes several soft max outputs units to enforce the regularization this was a key idea which has been imported in the development of the future architectures another interesting feature is there is no fully connected layer at the end and this is instead replaced with an average pooling layers the removal of this fully connected layer result in the network with 12 times fewer parameters than LXNet making it much faster to train <coughs> 